and I was almost forgetting the sour cream. Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god. Anyone? Name that movie. Or na name that play, actually. Alright, this is gonna be amazing. Hi guys, Daniela here, and tonight I'm gonna be sharing with you guys one of my best keto recipes. This one has cabbage, and I have to admit that prior to going keto, I never really liked cabbage, but now I love it, especially if you use it fresh because the crunchiness and the mouthful that it gives you is extremely satisfying. So this low carb meal, it, you're, it's so easy and quick and simple to make that you're truly just gonna keep it in the back of your pocket for whenever you want a quick keto meal. It's really good, it's delicious, it's satisfying, everybody in your family is gonna love it. So let's get to it. Hey guys, before I forget, please like and subscribe to my channel. That way I can continue to make delicious dishes for all of you that I can share daily. So please, like and subscribe, okay? For this recipe, we're going to need one pound of cabbage, which is basically a third of a big head of cabbage or half of a small head of cabbage, one teaspoon of onion powder, one pound of ground beef, beer, just kidding, salt and pepper to taste, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar or any vinegar, half a cup of sour cream, two tablespoons of tomato paste, and seven tablespoons of butter or 3.5 ounces of butter. Let's get to it. All right guys, so we're gonna start cutting up the cabbage. Now, I don't mind slicing it. Of course, you can use the food processor but I just don't mind slicing it myself, so here we go. Okay guys, so we're gonna try to make this smaller so that they're the correct bite size. So in thirds would be just perfect. So we're gonna use a third of the butter to just melt and next we're gonna be cooking the meat. Okay, so we're just going to add all the meat in and lower the heat to medium. I don't want anything to burn. And I just love these ground beefs that come in the tubes because it's like easy to defrost and easy to just squeeze out. Very convenient. And right before the meat is completely cooked, you want to add everything. So here we go. The two tablespoons of vinegar. It can be regular white vinegar if you don't have apple cider, that's fine. One teaspoon of the onion powder. Two tablespoons of tomato paste, I'm just gonna eyeball it there. I think that's two tablespoons. And salt to taste. I am generous with that. And uh, pepper. Usually we get fresh ground, but this will do. And because you want it to be saucy, you want to add the rest of the butter. Ooh, and the smell of the vinegar is 
everywhere now. It smells so delicious. And that way it cooks completely, the meat cooks completely as the butter melts and all the flavors incorporate. Alright, so the, all the butter is almost entirely melted and we're going to add our cabbage. And you don't want your cabbage to get too soggy, so it doesn't get cooked entirely. You can eat cabbage raw, of course. We just want to incorporate everything, uh, keeping it still a little crunchy, because that way it just gives you such a better, satisfying taste. Or if you would prefer it to be mushy, then you just cook it for longer. But I'm just... Uh, gonna cook it for a little bit, just until everything turns a nice color. To my taste, it just needs a tiny bit more of salt. And honestly guys, we are all set. And um, if you would like it to have a little bit more of a stronger flavor, then you would put another tablespoon of apple cider vinegar which honestly is what I'm what I'm about to do and I'm going to change the recipe for it to have three tablespoons because I am just loving this all right guys so the finishing touch and I was almost forgetting the sour cream oh my god you guys oh my god anyone Name that movie. Or name, name that play, actually. Alright, this is gonna be amazing. It's like, oh my god, oh my god, you guys. Alright, and this is it. I'm actually even turning off the heat because I don't want my cabbage to cook anymore. This is more than enough for me, and this is just amazing. All right, guys, so I am starving. It's really late at night, so I'm just gonna plate this and try it. I can't wait. All right, guys, so this is still like piping hot. I'm gonna take a little bite because I just got it out of the stove. But I'm starving. Today was a long day. Okay. The vinegar gives it such a different flavor and it's so crunchy too. Honestly, I would have cooked the cabbage even less, but this just looks gorgeous. Alright, it's time for me to finish this whole thing. Thank you guys. Please remember to like and subscribe so that I can continue to share with you amazing dishes like this, which are, as you saw, very simple. Very, very few ingredients and just so satisfying for everyday dinner. Okay, I'm gonna go. Bye bye. I'm conclusions. I'm conclusions. I'm conclusions. All right. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> she, she was getting. Can you have me without the mess? Maybe like here, but without the mess. <laughs> Yes, of course. No, did you, did you, did you, I did one of those classic shots because she likes to like. It's it's she, true what they say about the cats. Yeah, did check she, it out. Did you record it? It's this whole thing is recording. Ah. <laughs> okay, right. That tastes delicious. Somebody's got make donuts. Is this gonna have a black and white uh, cut at the end too, or no? Oh no! I was forgetting the. Oh no, the sour cream! Sour cream! <gasps> Do you want me to back up? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so back here. This is not Dutch, and this is not Dutch. The loyal not Dutch. This is the loyal not Dutch. Oh, not Dutch. Oh! I'm like throwing it in there. Dutch. Not Dutch. Not Dutch. Not Dutch.
Can I, can I just take a bit? Are you recording? Cheers. What's the second 